All right. Well, I'm showed up to this party a cool two weeks late, aren't I? Yeah, good for me. Good for me. You know, I could offer all kinds of reasons and excuses, but ultimately I don't think it really matters <laughs> that much, right? doesn't really matter. What does matter is it's been three years of having a channel where I'm reacting to hip hop, I'm exploring hip hop, I'm listening to it for the first time and forming my own opinion. It's been great. It's been wonderful. I now very much enjoy hip hop. A question remains, Bob, how the fuck? It's been three years and you haven't reacted to any Eminem albums. Like, how do you do that? Well, the reason why I haven't reacted is because of this right here. Look at that. So for those of you who are unaware, <laughs> these are called CDs. See, back in the 1900s, what we used to do is we would take these things, these, these weird, they look like coasters. You put your drink on them. No, 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 no. There's information in here. And what you do, you stick it in this weird slot that used to be in a car. And then music would come out, not of the slot, out of the speakers. <laughs> so I haven't reacted to Eminem because I've heard Eminem. Let's see, what do I got? I got, this is Marshall Mathers 2. This is Marshall, Marshall Mathers. That's the Slim Shady LP. This is, I think this is Relapse, but it's like the bonus version or something. This has a track on here that I love, Deja Vu. I love Deja Vu. I think that's an amazing song. And then what's this one? Recovery. So I have heard Eminem. And so I haven't done any reactions to those early albums because I've heard them. Now, it is also true that I haven't listened to these in years since before I started the channel. So I have considered and thought about and talked about instead of doing a reaction, doing a revisit because that would be cool. Especially since I used to listen to Eminem a little bit. It was Eminem and Dr. Dre. I have uh, Chronic and I've got 2001 also. And 2001 I know very, very well. I used to listen to that quite a bit, honestly. I liked that one a lot. Eminem I'd listen to a little bit. I didn't really listen to him that much, honestly, even though I've got multiple CDs. I would just check it out every now and then and go, oh, okay. But it would be kind of neat to revisit and hear it now, right? After spending three years with hip hop and learning a lot of stuff and, and understanding flow and rhyming schemes and all that kind of shit. Be cool. So maybe, maybe someday in the cards. I don't know if he's going to come out with an album that's going to follow with this single Houdini that he released. Uh, we'll see if he does. I'll probably do a reaction to that. Another thing that's kind of odd slash interesting about Eminem and my channel is the impression I get from the audience I have. I feel like a bulk of my audience doesn't like Eminem. They don't like him. So they don't recommend him to me. They don't tell me to listen to it. Kind of strange. There you go. Whatever. It is what it is. I don't, you know, Eminem is somewhat polarizing, I suppose, in hip hop. Um, the most common comment I see is that his newer stuff, his most recent stuff sucks. I haven't heard it. I don't know. So no comment there. I remember when he first came out. What, let's see. When did, when did uh, Slim Shady come out? When was that? Uh, 99. 99. Yeah. He was all over fucking MTV. All of it. MTV was so happy to have a white rapper. Oh my God. Especially since Kurt Cobain had already killed himself. And the Marilyn Manson arc was kind of winding down. Like everybody was so upset about Marilyn Manson and that was kind of going away. Now here comes this super edgy white kid who's rapping. Oh, finally, something else we can push. <laughs> now I say that to talk shit on MTV, not Eminem. Because my God. If you had MTV back in the day, you couldn't go fucking 20 minutes without something about Eminem when he first came out. Okay, well, there's my long-winded excuse as to why I haven't listened to Eminem on the channel or done any reactions to it. But here's Houdini. I've been seeing lots of praise. Uh, well, praise, but also apparently like this is getting streamed like a motherfucker. So let's check it out. Haven't heard this. This is the music video. Hopefully it doesn't get blocked on YouTube. YouTube's great at blocking shit. Let's check out Houdini. And listen to Eminem for the first time in probably four or five years. Although I did recently put on Deja Vu like a month or two ago because something popped up. I was like, oh yeah, I want to listen to that again. All right, here we go. Dropping it. Hey, Em, it's Paul. Uh, I was listening to the album. Good fucking luck. You're on your own. <laughs> I forgot about all the Paul skits. I've got a problem. Check this out.
So one thing I don't know a lot about too is even though I've listened to his music, he's got like different personas, M and Slim Shady and all this other stuff. Well, what's funny is, I know his daughter recently got married. I saw that in the news. This dude, in a year or two, probably, maybe three, you know, a handful of years, this motherfucker is going to be a grandfather. Yeah, think about that shit. That's weird right there. Well, look for the stork from what? Little baby devil with the fork tongue. And it's sticking out, yeah, like a sore thumb. With a forehead that it grew horns from. Still a white jerk. Pulling up in a Chrysler to the cipher with the flex perks and a Bud Light shirt. Lyrical technician and electrician. Y'all light work. And I don't got to play pretend it's you I make believe. And you know I'm here to stay because me. If I was to ever take a leave, it would be as for to break a feed. If I was to ask for making leave, Stallion if she would collab with me. Would I really have a shot at a feed? I don't know, but I'm glad to be back like that. What the fuck is rap? I'm about to reach in my back, bro. <laughs> There was something interesting though that was being said about and for my last trick and people were like, oh, are you finally quitting? Now back in the day, I was a So for the record, I have no fucking clue what he's saying. <laughs> I'm catching like little snippets. I'm basically just reacting to the video. That I, I, I'm not gonna pull up the lyrics. Like if I do that, I'll probably like completely kill the vibe. <laughs> this shit's pretty fucking funny. It's ridiculous. It's, it's kind of fun for me because I remember when that first fucking video came out on MTV, and it was like. What is this? This is wild. And it was fucking hilarious. And it was edgy and it was shocking. And everyone was like enjoying it, but also offended by it at the same time. And so this fucking like, this is a throwback essentially. Let's back up a little bit. Let's laugh at this shit some more. Yeah, everyone's going to turn into Girl Scouts. The censorship bureau's out. That censorship bureau's out. <laughs> so when I started this verse, it did start off like hard. And it first feels like I'm talking it. Mind boggling how my profit is skyrocketed. Look what I pocketed. Yeah, the shit is just like y'all have been. I'm jogging in. I've been running at full speed. And that's why I'm ahead like my noggin. I'm the fight dog it in. When you debate who the best, but I'm some white chalk. And when I step up to that mic cock it in. Oh my God, it's that chicken out again. I have, I have no idea who these people are in the video. <laughs> I, have no idea. I like how it's being kind of shot in this comic book panel format. It's kind of catchy. It's cool. Like happy. <laughs> oh fuck! Let's back that up a little bit. That's just funny. I don't 
remember all the personas well. I'm a great driver. Don't worry, I just got my license back. Oh my god. You know, I am not an expert on Eminem. I'm not. I don't know much about the guy. I know I'm familiar with his music. I don't know it intimately. I don't listen to it often, obviously, like I said at the beginning. But like it's fun to watch this. And I feel like I feel like people just take Eminem too seriously. Like the people who hate Eminem, the people who get pissed off by him, get all they take him too seriously, in my opinion. He this is to me, like when I watch this, I listen to this I feel like I'm back in the nineties again, man. Although that was ninety nine, right? That's what that said, ninety nine. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, it, it, I, this feels like classic, standard Eminem. Like, nothing surprising at all, because that's this is just what he does. <laughs> fuck, I like the part where, fuck my kids, those little brats or whatever. <laughs> ah, shit. You know, too, in terms of the song, yeah, it's cool. It's catchy. Yeah, that's cool. I'll listen to it again. Huh. Huh. Now I... I like the first question that pops in my mind is, what are people saying online about it? And it's like, I don't even want to fucking know. I don't even want to know. The truth is, is for every song out there, every opinion exists online. It's the best song ever. It's fucking garbage. It's mid. It's boy, bro. It's brilliant. <laughs> I, I get, honestly, I get kind of tired of it. I'm, I've, I've gotten to a point where I'm like, I don't really care about the opinions anymore because it's just like, you see the same opinions for everything. Somebody hates it, somebody loves it. Whatever. Just have fun. Just have fun. If you like it, cool. Enjoy it. If you don't, then don't fucking listen to it and go live your life. There you go. Simple rules to live by. Eh. Yeah, I'm going to listen to it again. I'm going to go put it on right now. All right, y'all. <laughs> take care. Sorry for the delay. And uh, yeah, take, we'll see you soon. <laughs>